right. And the drop step is a technique that baseball players use when stealing bags. Uh, basically, as Ricky Henderson here, for example, he has his legs spread out, and then he drop steps with his right foot, basically a false step. So he drops his right foot and then swings his shoulders and starts running. That creates more force. It's actually, uh, even as a false step, has a faster acceleration rate. And uh, now uh, the crossover step, step is just a standard step. You're pivoting your right foot followed by the left leg crossing over, and then you're swinging your elbows. So the video, as an example, crossover step, this to the side, but you get the point. Next slide. Form is variables test. Uh, performance variables test. Performance variables variables are the drop tech, the drop step technique, and the crossover technique. The test includes stealing second base and recording the time. Uh, the procedures we chose were um, we chose 16 people from uh, MSU's baseball team, um, all males, mainly just to have a more efficient test. Um, we split them up eight and eight. Half did the drop step and half did the crossover test. Um, we recorded at times from, they took about a normal lead from first base. And we, once they went, we started a timer. And once they got past second base, we ended it and we recorded each time. Um, they repeated the test twice. All right, so the results, we found that the crossover step was faster than the drop step, but it wasn't. Uh, a big difference, it wasn't significant. Um, crossover step median time was 3.4, and the mode is 3.41. Uh, the drop step did have um, more consistent uh, times, but it was slower than the crossover step.